The Industrial Revolution ushered in a new era that threatened to transform the values of men. No longer would spirituality be their compass, but not all welcomed the change. In 1783, just as the fires of the Lackey eruption had plunged all of Europe into an ashen darkness, a horde of demons spilled from the shadows and fell upon city after English city. It was a message. The Alchemy Guild, fearing the rise of industrialism and abandonment by their wealthy patrons, had done the unthinkable to defend their existence. Through recondite arts, the alchemists had created shard binders, humans transplanted with crystal that attuned them to demonic power. They sacrificed the shard binders and in doing so through the gates of the world open to demon time. Countless innocents died. And though the church succeeded in vanquishing the hell's end, a steep price had already been paid and collected. As for the shard binders, they were presumed to have all died in the sacrificial rite. However, two survived. Chibo, a boy for whom by some miracle the right did not prove fatal. And Miriam, a girl who spared the right altogether on account of the strange slumber that took her just before it could begin. Ten years have passed. Mankind too soon forgets tragedy. The demons have returned, presaged by a great castle. And on this very hour, Miriam awakens. Upon learning Jebel is the architect of this new, blood-stained ritual, Miriam and the alchemist Johannes set forth for the accursed castle. Their galleon cuts through the water, lancing towards the inevitable. Johannes, are you certain it was... It was Jeebel's doing, Miriam. No mistake. It's so hard to believe. I wouldn't even be alive if not for him. I know. I know how you feel. But the facts are apparent, and the hell he endured ten years ago would break the best of souls, Miriam. I want you to know that I'm sorry. What my brother subjected you to... There's no forgiving it. It was their transgression, not yours. You... you always took care of us. Obviously not enough. Well... Let it go, Johannes. We need to focus on the task ahead. If Jebel is responsible for the summoning, then I have to stop him. I gave him my word. I ought to do it. He was my best friend. But I'm the only one who can. The Shard experiments prepared me for combat. Let them amount to something. <sighs> Ten whole years. 
What put me in that sleep? I wish I had the answer. All I know is the spell that stopped time for you was... advanced. Arcane. But by observing the ebb of the magic's hold on you, I was able to predict exactly when you would wake up. Oh, I see. We'll make landfall soon. You should get ready. I had the chest there, packed with essential equipment. Now would be a good time to put it on. Good. You're prepared. I'll take care of Was that a shard? I'd forgotten the way it felt. Like uninvited claws scraping across my bones. The demon's power was transmuted into that shard, which forcibly bonded to the crystal embedded in your body. The strength you gain from it is undeniable, but eventually, the crystal will devour you. I thought the procedure you discovered halted the corruption. It did, but that doesn't guarantee you'll be safe if you start absorbing shards in massive quantities. I know my body's limits better than anyone. And I'm going to need all the power I can get. And if I run into trouble, you can help me. You've done it before. You'll do it again. <laughs> Just promise you won't... <gasps> How do they get inside? The demons from the... Then they can help me wake up these...
this device responds to magic. Maybe I just need to hold my hand up to it.
Is it not? After all the sins humans wrought upon us? Johannes told me what they did to you. And you're right, it's horrible. But what you're doing now is just as bad. No! No, there you are. What the alchemists did was reshuffle our bodies. What I intend to do is reshuffle the world. I'd say I've earned the right. Join me, Miriam. You're the only one who understands the pain I feel. What it's like to no longer be human. What? I never thought I'd hear those words from you. I was the one that came to you broken. Convinced I was a monster. And you told me... This is nonsense! You told me... Our power doesn't make us good or bad. Our choices do. I'd given up on my humanity. But you restored my hope. Don't you remember? <sighs> Master Jeebel, we must return. Yes. Miriam, I tire of reminiscing with you. You're here to kill me, aren't you? Then first prove you can find me. Along the way, you'll have no choice but to absorb shards and avail yourself of the powers of hell. If you can still claim to be human at the end of it all, then perhaps I might be more inclined to listen. Flicker. That 
was the Jeebel I know. Faster than we hoped. Miriam, we have to hurry. This was where we were supposed to meet our contact. All right. But wait. Let me clear the area. There are still demons about.
I promise you'll be careful. Thank you, Miriam. You know who I am. I'm sorry we couldn't get here sooner, Dominique. So this is our contact. Yes, the church sent me. An exorcist. Then we're lucky to have you, Dominique. And the church you, Miriam. Thank you for guiding her here, Johannes. You wouldn't have asked if it wasn't important. But you should tell us why you need her. Miriam isn't one to shy away from danger, but she deserves to be armed with all the facts. Yes, 
Very well. I told you when I contacted you that the Shadbinder Jebel is responsible for... Yes, there's no mistake about that. He admitted as much. What? You spoke to him? Then let me get right to the point. I find it curious that the outpouring of demons, facilitated by what just happens to coincide with the sudden awakening of the other Shardbinder, after exactly... You're right, it is strange. But the Church doesn't get to drag Miriam into this just because the timing is odd. Oh, do you decide for her then? I asked you to bring her here so she could see the horrors that have befallen the village and make an informed choice. I have no intention of forcing you, Miriam. You don't have to. I gave Jeebel my word that I would stop him. What happened here only strengthens my resolve. Thank you, Miriam. I am sorry to put it on your shoulders. Um, pardon me? Oh, hello there. Are you alright? We didn't mean to ignore you. I'm alright, thank you. You are quite welcome. Do you have a name? Anne! What a lovely name! Anne, you shouldn't be out here. Let me take you somewhere safe. Oh, all right. Come on. I did some looking around before, and this place seems secure. Yes, agreed. Johannes, you, Anne, and I will remain here. We can assist Miriam from safe ground. What? We can't ask her to brave the castle alone? Don't be foolish. She is trained in combat. We would only get in the way. But that's not the point. I'll be fine, Johannes. Please don't worry. But we'll be here if you need us. Let's not waste any time. We have a lot to do. Come back if you need anything. I'll get a workshop running so I can perform alchemy for you. Thank you, Johannes. I know you're strong, but be careful. <laughs> I will. Dominique, what is all this machinery? That is photographic equipment we've been working on. Photographic? To put it more plainly, it allows me to capture images of real life, landscapes, people. What? Really? Unfortunately, I don't... I'll see if I can find it. Uh, oh, right! Uh, I need to find materials for Dominique's... Miriam, since this is your first time here, let me tell you a... Uh, please. I have made arrangements so you can buy and sell items here. I would have liked to provide what you need for free, but seeing as we are largely cut off from the church's funds out here, I will need money in order to keep the supply posts stocked. I hope you don't mind paying. No, I understand. I appreciate you doing what you can. I can also buy shards from you, if you no longer need them. Wait, is trade in demon shards even allowed? Of course. The church would sooner gather them up and make certain they are purified. I am not permitted to sell them, but I can buy them off you. You may want to keep extras, since possessing multiple shards of the same type amplifies its power. But there is a limit to how far that can go. And more importantly, if you carry a large number of shards, your body's corruption may accelerate. But I'll find a way to deal with that myself. 
I still recommend selling your shards as a means of making money. All right. I know you're looking out for me. I think that explains everything. Now, would you like to have a look around? What are you looking to sell? to give this to you. It's the key to the building. You can use it to explore further in. Thank you. I invited the other survivors inside where it's safe. They all have troubles that need resolving. If you can spare them the time, I'll do what I can. I know you will. Come back anytime. I'll be praying for you. Here she is. You have to marvel at the church's resources. I know. So, what I can do for you here in the workshop is take materials you bring me and transmute them into new items. But the alchemy is easier to show you than explain. Here, I have some materials we can use. So let's try transmuting them. What are we transmuting this time?
go with this. There, all done. Once I've transmuted an item, I'll pass it on to Dominique so she can carry it at the supply post for you. I'll do my best to inform you of what items you can make from what materials. But when it comes to items I don't know about, you'll have to find a formula for me and... I understand. Also, the demon crystal you've obtained, the shards, those can be transmuted the same way as items. Each shard requires specific materials, but it's worth it to make your shards more useful. Try it when you get the chance. I think I would. Also, neither one of us has been eating well. No wonder. If you bring me the ingredients, I can use alchemy to prepare meals for it. With proper nutrition and a varied diet, you have the potential to get much stronger. Are you eating properly? So, what'll it be? It started when the interests of the rich... The alchemists' research was the guild members didn't want to lose, so they warned again and again that demons would come if people let go, but people don't ch You mean us? Yes. It shames me that I was even connected to what... It's all right. Thank you. came out of nowhere. Where are the other? Dead, most of them. My dear husband included. <sighs> Those devils have to pay. Those murderers. You look strong, miss. I'm begging you. Help me. If it's within my power. Oh, thank you. M Miriam. Well, Miriam, I'll gather whatever information I can about the monsters that... I want you to hunt down the monsters and take vengeance on them. The efforts won't go unrewarded, I promise you that. All right. Here's what I've turned up on the monsters. Help my husband rest in peace. Kill that murderer dead! I'm glad my fields are rid of those monsters, but they're in a terrible state. What will you... Well, I haven't decided yet. Miriam. Tell me, Miriam, do you have anything I might be able to grow? Because if you let me do the farming, I'll give you your share of the harvest, and you won't even have to lift a finger. Oh, all right. Good. I'll be waiting in the fields. Oh. 
Can you plant that? Sure. Oh. <laughs> These th <laughs> These things take time. What a bloodbath. We were slaughtered. <sighs> but you're not like us. You're strong. I saw you fighting. Oh, it was more luck than... Oh, humble to... Miriam. Well, Miriam, might I... Of course, but... Well, that's not going to be possible for some. In the very least, though, I'd like to bury some keepsake for each of them. A Valkyrie like you should have no trouble finding such... Can I count on you? <sighs> I'd be... Thank you. Then, let me... Thank you.
be. Alfred? Why are you here? <sighs> Johannes, that fool of an apprentice should have stayed out of this. You have a lot to explain. All that is in the past. I'll not be defending my actions to you. But don't I deserve it? Well, enough, child. I am here for the book. Jeeble had... What are you talking about? If you don't already know, then let us keep... Uh. Alfred, how are you... Uh, what were you thinking? I... You can answer my question. All that matters is that I am alive. Did you come here for the book? Book? The Lieber Logan. Make no mistake. I won't let anyone touch that tome but me. Th not even you should touch it. I don't have time to argue with you. You know full well my power exceeds yours. Take Mary, otherwise you will die. I came here because something didn't feel right. But I didn't... Johannes, what? It's... It's a book the Alchemy Guild once possessed that allows for the summoning of spirits. The Guild used it to bring about the Calamity ten years ago. And the Shardbinder's crystal acted as a kind of catalyst. A book like that shouldn't... I know. Alfred must be trying to restore the Alchemy Guild to power. He said Chibo had it. It makes sense. He must have gotten his hands on it after surviving the... So now I have to stop Alfred. No. Let's focus on Jeebel. If we... Good point. Dominique might know what to do about Alfred in the meantime. I'll head back to the village and see what she has to say.
Fancy a ride, Milady. Why? Are you offering one? <laughs> I could take you someplace most interesting. The rub, of course, is that obstacle standing squarely on our path. See? <sighs> I doubt I would be able to push it aside. A shame you don't have a giant hand. Ah! Wild and crazy things one could do with a giant hand.
Stop right there. <gasps> I knew what you are. That ghastly air about you. You reek of sorcery, Shardbinder. Ah. And what am I to make of you? Me? I am your executioner. Come us up this is At once, Zangetsu! Ah, here we go. How many times do I have to tell you? Our enemies are the demons and those in league with them. And I say, what is the difference? The alchemists were the gunmen, the shardbinders the gun. In the case of the alchemists, you are right. They coveted the powers of hell and must pay for it. But Miriam is not like them. She is fighting for us, at great personal risk. Really? You forget how many of our friends perished for similarly misplacing their faith. And do I look as weak? Look closer. <laughs> I was bored with her anyway. Do your job, Zangetsu. You need to put a stop to Alfred. And I will. But you listen to me, Shardbinder. If you value your life, then stay out of my sight. You can hold me to my word, Dominique. But don't presume to tell me what else I can or cannot do.
<sighs> I apologize for my acquaintance. He had no right to speak to you like that. Pay it no mind. I've been through worse. I want you to know that I trust you, Miriam. And nothing anyone says could ever sway that trust. Ah, oh, well, you have my thanks. It's nice to know that I have someone on my side. Zangetsu is a demon hunter from a land far to the east, in the tumult of a decade ago. Perhaps even longer. Demons robbed him of everything precious to him, and he's despised everything to do with them since. His strength, however, is second to none. I saw it for myself. I could tell he was holding back, but he was a handful regardless. Maybe it was a lack of conviction that dulled his blade. Well, I'll be off then. I mustn't leave Anne alone for too long.
Oh, <laughs> 